Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is David, this is David K Reacts, and today I am going to be reacting to another of my most requested videos, and that is the Butts remix by Home Free. I have been told this is hilarious. I have absolutely no idea what else to expect. My assumption is it's a bunch of songs about butts. <laughs> That's about all I've got to go on, I think. Uh, there have been a couple of comments about it, but they've all been very vague. I think no one's, uh, everyone's trying not to spoil it, which I appreciate, thank you. Um, particular shout outs to Gaia1, Sandra Roan, and Sharon H, who I think were among the first to recommend this, uh, although it has been recommended by many, many people. Uh, too many to mention. Um, so uh, thank you to all of you, I appreciate it. If you put this in the comment to one of my videos, uh, thank you very much for the recommendation. Um, this is uh, my first video after Disney month, uh, but here to prove, I assume, I think, based on what I've understood, uh, Disney month certainly does not have the monopoly on medleys. Uh, this will be a medley, I believe. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming here. I've been told this is a great example of Home Freeze humor. Um, someone mentioned that on uh, Cold Hard Cash. Um, and I really enjoy home free humor, so let's see what's coming my way, I guess. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you have not been here before. Uh, just so you know how this works, I'm going to watch this through from beginning to end, uninterrupted, uh, emoting and commenting over the top, but watching it straight through. I will then go back and start from the beginning and interrupt, pause, and offer what commentary and analysis I feel like I can. An analysis? Analysis. There we go. Um... Please do like the video if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button, go to the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I post a video. Friday at 5pm is uh, EST, is my standard release time. Uh, if you've just come off Disney month, this is the first video after Disney month in, in 2023, if you've just come off that, you've been seeing me post two videos a week, that's not what I normally do, I don't really have time to pull that off all the time, so that's something I do a little more rarely when I have some... Uh, I have time to front load some recordings well in advance, so I can do twice a week. Um, but once a week is my standard at the moment. We'll see how that progresses throughout the year, because I'm hoping to up that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and if you would care to, please do head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash David K Reacts. Uh, if you would like to donate to support the channel, if you feel like I have contributed to your enjoyment of this music, uh, or to um, just the general entertainment surrounding reactions and what have you, um, then that would be very kind. Um, I don't think I have anything else I need to throw on at this point in time. I'm hoping I've sorted out my audio issues I've been having over the last couple of videos. I uh, had a couple of hiccups there that, uh, fingers crossed, have been resolved. Um, it's very, very difficult when you're reacting with the system I'm reacting with right now. Uh, both my voice and the audio of the video go into the same audio track, so I can't split them out and adjust them in any way. Um, so uh, it's taken a bit of balance trickery, but I rant over it a little bit, and I think I'm good. So, without any further delay, uh, here we go with Home Free and the Butts. Well, they actually, okay, I've just seen the splash screen. Um, they call it the Butts Remix on YouTube. But then the splash screen says the butts medley, so it is a medley. Um, yeah, let's see what's going to happen, I guess. Uh, here we go. Oh my god, Timmy. Look at her butt. It's so <laughs> big. Looks like a country boy's girlfriend. <laughs> Hustler shooting eight ball, throwing darts at the wall, feeling damn near ten feet tall. Here she comes, Lord help us all. OTW's girlfriend done slapped him out his chair. Poor old boy, it ain't his fault. It's so hard not to stare at that honky tonk. But don't get wrong. Nice. Oh. Rhythm, make you wanna sing Some Jason Derulo in the background. Like Love it. Who does this? Atkins, Trey Seconds. Right. Double up. Patty cake, patty cake with no hands. 
Got me nice. in the club, make a wedding plan. If I take pictures while you do your dance, <laughs> I can make you famous on Instagram. Hi, damn it. Her booty like two pants. Go ahead and go ham damage. Whoa, I can't stand it. Cause you know what to do with your big fat butt. But, but, big fat butt. Big fat butt. But, 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 Oh, I love what they've done with this. Okay. This makes sense. Nice rapping, Rob. <laughs> okay. I haven't heard Cisco in a long time. I love what they've done with the video. This one I don't know. Oh, I love it. Oh, great mashup. Yes! I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are everybody. We only enjoyed our butts. Remix. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the thumbs up below, and then give us a little feedback in the comment section. Do it. Come check out our tour dates and see us live. And don't forget to support us on Patreon. Bye! <laughs> Original video is in the uh, description below. <laughs> oh man, it looks like they had so much fun filming that. I will have to try and check out that BTS at some point in time. Uh, yeah, original video link is in the description below. It always is in my videos. I don't always mention it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this was great. That's, uh, it's also really cool. Like, there's some serious kind of uh, nostalgia vibes for me there as well. Um, obviously, some more contemporary stuff in there, but uh, nice to see some older pieces as well. I, oh, it's so nice to hear a bit of Queen. I know there's uh, there's some Queen stuff out there I haven't reacted to yet. Um, I think voice play does Queen. Do I have that right? I think so. Um... And I'm sure there's other things out there as well. I uh, I just haven't come across. I well, hasn't run across my schedule yet. But uh, yeah, that was cool. Um, I don't know here. I'm gonna momentary pause, which will hopefully only take about three seconds. There we go. Luke Bryan. Okay, I am not familiar with Country Girl, Shake It For Me. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Right, okay. Uh, that is a song I haven't heard before. Um, so I have less to say about that one. Uh, just because I'm not familiar with it. But uh, yeah, really cool to hear some of that stuff. Um, the Trace Adkins song uh, I have heard a few times. Um, uh, of course, Wiggle, very much in the zeitgeist at the moment. Fat Bottom Girls is fantastic. What else was there? Also, oh, Mix A Lot. Baby got back up. That's probably... I didn't do my usual what could be in this medley. Uh, that's probably the one I would have guessed straight off the bat. Um, and of course, Cisco. Uh, that is the only one of these I think I have seen the music video for. So my guess... Um, I don't know how much they would be referencing the videos. I'll have to see when I get back to that because I was sort of enjoying the music. I wasn't paying as much attention to the video ahead of time. 
uh, I'll see that as we go. But I don't know whether they're referencing the original videos for these, because I just, I haven't seen any of them really. Um, I tend to digest most music uh, in audio format only. Uh, and for years, when I was growing up, I had no means of actually seeing music videos. I didn't have Sky or Cable or any of the uh, uh, methods of getting um, additional channels when I was younger. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff back then that I didn't see. I saw a few Queen videos, actually, because Top of the Pops in the UK, which is our sort of chart show, uh, played a few of them, but Fat Bottom Girls was not one. Um, and, of course, they were mostly performance videos. Uh, yeah, this is great. I love the fact that they've made this, in so far as the subject matter permits it, <laughs> very tasteful. Um, it could have been... Like that, it's it's the kind of series of songs that it would be easy to overplay and push it into the realm of being, you know, um, I guess slightly more adult content. Oh well, it's the first time I've ever said that in the American North American pronunciation. I would have said adult content. Um, it's funny how things change over time. Uh, it would have been very easy to make that a slightly more adult video than Home Free normally does. Um, and I mean, in some ways, it kind of was a little bit, but only a little bit. And it would have been easy to overdo it. And they didn't. And that's great. Uh, I think this is extremely tastefully done. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of this and break it down as we go. Um, so my uh, oftentimes starting point uh, again, I love what they've done with this title screen. It's got that concept of having the slightly faded writing. This looks very familiar to something I've already seen of theirs, I think. And now my brain is forgetting what it was. But I, if I remember, I will put it in my little note thing right here. But I feel like uh, this is maybe around the same time as another video of theirs I've reacted to. But yeah, it's just nice. The logo... Uh, I love the styling on free, um, the sort of uh, embossed almost or, or uh, effect of the gold there. Um, and yeah, they're sort of faded, the faded text on the Butts medley that just kind of gives it that hint of, um, you know, an old timey country uh, sort of uh, thing. It's just, it's a good look for the beginning of their videos. Uh, okay. Oh my God, Timmy. Look at her butt. <laughs> I love that we... This, I assume, is a reference to the beginning of the So Mix-A-Lot uh, song. Because I've heard... I haven't seen it, so I don't know if this they have, like, the sky thing going on. But I remember... it's Is it is, is it Becky? Oh my god, Becky. Look at that butt. That sounds right. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember. I haven't heard it for a while. But I love that they're just immediately referencing that out the gate. <laughs> expressions too oh my goodness this is gonna be fun again oh my god timmy look at her butt it's so big <laughs> it looks like a country boy's girlfriend <laughs> is that a reference to something i don't know it looks like a country boy's girlfriend uh i yeah i'm curious there's probably a bunch of references in, in this i might miss uh just through not knowing um, the sort of country roots they're playing from here, or, uh, is that something to do with Trace Atkins? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, apologize if I miss things. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything obvious that, uh, I don't pick up on. Hustler shooting eight ball, throwing darts at the wall, feeling damn near ten feet tall, here she comes, Lord help us all. Oh, this is great. I love that we're starting with Tim, but we're not necessarily starting with him right down at the bottom. I've, I've made this comment on a couple of videos recently where we're starting with uh, a singer with extreme range, but not at their extreme range. Uh, it's nice because it kind of sets everything up in uh, a pitch that is sort of familiar to most people without having that kind of super surprise factor too early on that could kind of, uh, you know, distract from the beginning of the video. Um I can't actually remember how I, I, I was so it's sort of enjoying the content. I didn't catch quite how low Tim goes in this one, but we know he can go way down. Um, so it's a good this is it's a nice um, timbre and uh, sort of area in his register that he's starting in here. Hustler shooting eight ball, throwing darts at the wall, feeling damn near 10. I love this 
the um the pitch that we uh, uh, not the pitch the beat that we've got going on here from Adam just that it's it gives it this sense of motion anticipation um it gets us it gets us kind of rolling towards where we're going to end up but without being too it's not in your face in any way it's not like there's some kind of crazy build up going on it's just that really nice pace in the background it's a great way to start as we're shooting eight ball throwing darts at the wall feeling them near 10 feet tall here she comes lord help us all otw's girlfriend done slapped him out his chair i love how they the, one of the things that's really cool with this i'm so just looking at the video as we go around we have this this great view of the five of them standing on their own very identifiable but now while we're focusing on tim and uh, austin's shirt color kind of pops uh, Chris and Adam, and to a slightly lesser extent, Rob, kind of blend in with the dancers a little bit. And it's nice that we're pulling focus onto the soloist. Uh, it's a smart choice. Uh, of course, he's center of the camera as well, even when it's moving around, so it, it draws the eye naturally. But the way that they have placed people in here, it's it's a really sort of, it's guided towards uh forcing our vision to where the editor wanted it to be um which is it's a smart choice i like that Eight ball throwing darts at the wall feeling them near 10 feet tall here she comes lord help us all i enjoy the way that they've i haven't listened to this song for a very long time but i love the fact that they've kind of got the instrumental thing going on here of it's not voices supporting a voice it's voices creating a backing band just the da -na -na -na. it's they're, they're going for a more instrumental tone it's also the way that it's oh sorry that's catching a little bit i'm just gonna throw that behind me the way that it's been um uh, like the syllables that they're using the fact that they're making specific noises that are not um they're more of like a accompaniment sound rather than a vocal group sound if that makes any sense at all Sometimes I wonder about some of the things I say, but um, it, it it's it's a good effect for this kind of music, and it gives us a lot of places to go. Um, yeah, it's, it's this is just a really smart beginning to the whole thing. Oh, OTW's girlfriend done slapped him out his chair. Poor old boy, it ain't his fault. It's so hard not to stare at that. And that's so nice. I love that we get that. It ain't his fault. He kind of really drops down there and then it's oh, so hard not to stare. Like he's going from way down straight back up again. Like the motion in uh, what Tim is doing here is fantastic. I really like that. This chair. Poor old boy, it ain't his fault. It's so hard not to stare at that honky tonk. But don't get dumb. Keeping perfect rhythm. Nice whistling from Rob. The clarity on that is excellent. Um, it's a hard thing to get, you know, it's it's not these... I, I, I'm a relatively good whistler, but I don't have the clarity that he's getting on this. Um, and it's a really good uh, choice of sound for him to be making here. We haven't gone, as we've gone into the chorus, we haven't gone into like a full band sound particularly. We've actually sort of almost moved away from having acting, having sounds coming across like a band into now having sounds that are coming across like human beings making them with their voices. Uh, it's a really interesting decision. I like that. I can't tell. Is that? I guess that's Chris and Austin that are harmonizing there. I'm not sure. Is it only one? Keeping perfect rhythm make you wanna swing along. I think it's just. It sounds like it's just one voice. I haven't spent enough time with Chris yet to identify who that is. Uh, but I really like, it's it's nice that they've got this, they've added the harmony, so we've, we've fleshed it out a little bit, but it's not massive. It's not like we've suddenly got four people singing uh, and, um, you know, we've, we've gone to this big vocal harmony. We have the fact that we have a slightly more sparse harmony being interspersed with the beginning of the Jason Derulo. We're getting hints of what's coming next. Um, it's an, as a kind of call and response thing, and it's it's a really 
cool way of integrating the next song in, which is going to make the stylistic shift significantly less uh, kind of brash when we actually get to it. Okay, no, I see it's Austin. Yep, I can see him singing there. Um, and I love that this whistle just keeps going. It is such a great backing. Um, I really, really like that. Perfect rhythm, make you want also, Tim just looks like a boss just sitting in the chair, surrounded by dancing girls and the group. That's fantastic. And I like the fact that it's the simple change in the background. Like, we've gone from a brick wall with lights that we can see in shot, um... Swing on into this kind of camo background. They haven't changed what they're wearing at all, and yet the visual... And of course it's happening at the same time as we cut to the wiggle wiggle. But the visual shift is clear enough to indicate a stylistic difference in what they're doing. It's... it's ah. Oh. There's some really smart visuals in this video as well as the quality of the singing. I've always thought that was the one of the strangest series of statements in a lyric. Ooh, -wee, shut my mouth, slap my gra shut your mouth, shut slap my grandma. What? <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy it, but what? Slap my mouth, shut my mouth, slap your grandma, right. Yeah, interesting. Anyway. I love that look of amazement on Tim. He's really, they're really, really playing up the lyric here which is great like i love to get the sheriff on the phone he's kind of a bit more chill to one side you know make a phone gesture and then i love that you see and this is great the cutting between this shot and the five of them on the stairwell i noticed it with austin earlier there was a moment where he was kind of like leaning forward and we had exactly the same when we cut to him on the stairwell, he was like leaning over the stairs with the same expression. I love that we see the beginning of Tim's sort of incredulity right here. And then it's just, he's, it's, it's expanded, if anything. Like he's changed, he's obviously got the hand up there, which he didn't have in the original, but the expression is just evolving. It's, it's really, really well cut. It kind of, like, it doesn't feel like, it both does feel like a clash change because it is a very sudden, you know, if you, especially because you know the song, you hear Honky Tonk, you expect Badonkadonk, but instead we crash into Wiggle. Um, the way that they've done it, though, because they have begun to set it up and they have this, you know, progress of the shift... It works really, really well. Also, that brass sound is incredible. Because I know that's them. Um, the first, but first, listening to it the first time through, there was a second there where I was kind of scouring through my brain going, did they bring in a trumpet? But no, that's that's them, isn't it? It's great. Patty cake with no hands Got me in the club Make a wedding plan If I take pictures While you do your dance I can make you famous On Instagram Hi damn it Her And again You've had this visual shift of the camo behind them But all the dance moves have changed They've stylistically shifted into what Wiggle is And yet what I really like is They keep the tempo moving It hasn't changed Sometimes it's a good thing to change the tempo. In this case, I think through this arrangement, uh, I can't remember, does it change towards the end? I don't think it does. It's actually a really smart move to keep it our tempo the entire time and not adjust for each song because it keeps everything feeling a little bit more holistic and uh, together where you do have, like, let's face it, there are at least four extremely different styles in this video if not six. I mean, obviously six in terms of the number of bands, but I feel like there are some similarities between a couple of the songs. Um, 
but it makes it feel very, very cohesive, and that's a really smart move. I take pictures while you do your dance. I can make you famous on Instagram. Hi, damn it. Her booty like two pants. <laughs> I love it when we get these cuts to the close-ups, and it's the one person in front, and everyone behind is just being a complete goofball. That's <laughs> great. You could, like, you could see from the BTS, but even if I hadn't seen that tiny clip of the BTS, you just know that they film one of these inserts and then just howl with laughter the moment cut gets said. He was eating the sandwich! <laughs> I caught that literally out of the corner of my eye in pretty much the last frame of this shot, because I was paying attention to the center of the screen, and I suddenly registered it. He actually eats the ham sandwich. That is amazing. I also enjoy, and this is another thing that goes to the tastefulness of this video, I love the fact that the first kind of solid butt shots that we get in this is them. Like, that's great. You know, it's not the way it could have gone, but it's the way it did go. And I think, I don't think, I think I'm right about that. I don't think there was anything really earlier on. Um, sure, some of the dancers in the background sort of turned around and what have you. But there wasn't a butt shot. And yet it's them that we get. That's, that's just, I, I like that a lot. There's some solid integrity there, guys. And somehow this works. And I love, like, we get these these great little inserts of Austin, Austin, Austin Chris. You know what to do with the big fat butt, 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 big fat butt, butt. And what's nice is we have a hint there of where we're going, right? Because you know what to do with the big fat butt. Because this, I think, judging by some of, uh, I don't know, maybe with the color, yeah, I feel like with the colored light that we see on screen left uh, of Austin there, um, that is some kind of a hint towards, oh, I like his belt buckles, there's salmon. Or am I just totally, it looks like a salmon. Uh, but I, I think this is the where we're going to go in a second for Queen. Um, we go from the camo, so we have that sense of this is where we're coming from. And then I love that because they are now moving up the stairs, not standing on them, you get the sense that they're walking into the space. So we have a, a feeling of transition between the two songs. That's really, really cool. Yeah, I. that's great. And I love that we have that moment of silence. It works. It feels like a natural progression because we've gone into that the but 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 but, but, but like it, it it we've gone into something that is pure rhythm and a second of dead air in this sense it's not dead air it's negative space and it is part of that rhythm and then we come crashing back in with the beginning of fat bottom girls and it works in that cut because of that silence. I think it might actually, it's one of those circumstances where it might be more jarring if they had gone straight through and tried to connect the two songs together. It feels more connected because they didn't. And that's, that's, their choices in this are really, really smart for creating an arrangement. But, 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 but. Oh, won't you take me home tonight? Oh. He just, was that deliberate? Did he just drop the mic stand? Also, <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, Austin, but I'm really not because you're doing it. Uh, yeah, a couple of things I saw there. I love that we have like everyone suddenly more kind of like stage rock moving, but I love that we have Tim totally rocking out on the right side of the screen. Oh, won't you take me home tonight? Oh, down beside the... 
Did he throw that or did he try and do something else and just miss it? Whatever it was, it's a cool shot. I like it. It's, it's... <laughs> it's this weird combination of cool. It's kind of, Like, Freddie Mercury, of course, had a lot of that kind of... He would make unusual moves. He would use his body in... You know, he would... To, to great effect in angles that weren't necessarily what you would expect like his moves were he would have really cool dance moves and then re things that were slightly more out there part of what he was doing it was fantastic um and i love that we're kind of getting a momentary <laughs> nod to this but also in very comedic format we get back to Tim, he's just calmly singing at the microphone like he wasn't headbanging five seconds ago. <laughs> I love what they've done with the harmony. I'm going to go back on this a little bit because I was looking at the visuals, but the harmony of this is fantastic. Oh, won't you take me home tonight? Oh, down beside the red firelight. Oh. I really, really like what they've done with this. They've kind of got the sound... They've got more of the sound of Queen than I would have expected. They're keeping the pace going. Like, again, we haven't changed tempo. We just cut for a second and then came back in again at the same tempo. We're still moving forward. And yet the way that they've used the voicing in this is really, really nice. And I like that we're hearing every level of it. Because that was a big thing with Queen. Is you would hear... Like, if you sat there and listened to a Queen song, it is not difficult, for the most part, to pick out each harmony line. Because the way they mixed their sound, you could hear it all so clearly. And they've done that here, too. Like, you can hear whoever's coming in on the... Oh, ba 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 What I'm not quite sure what the line is. I'm not going to sit here and pick it out, because I don't want to take that time. But if you listen, you can hear the lower lines just as clearly as you're hearing the upper lines. And I like that a lot. I I love <laughs> so much motion from Rob, so much stillness from Tim. I love, I love that everyone has their own character in this. It's, uh, it's a great, uh, great visual moment. There's a nice... I, I like this too, because we've just come to the end of a chorus, we move into the next song, and what's nice here is you're getting a stylistic change, you're getting a background change, and so what they've chosen to do instead is have the consistency of the singer. So we have Rob. So right here, we have him setting it up. And the biggest thing with transitions is you can, you can have a very abrupt transition, provided you begin to set it up. You need... Like, one of the things in creating very satisfying chord changes, uh, for example, in music, is when you go between two chords and there is at least one note that is the same between those two chords. You get more... The more you move away from that and have no notes that are the same, uh, and then, oddly enough, if all the notes are sort of up a tone or something like that, it's one thing. The more notes in the two chords that are closer together but not the same, so if you have a bunch of semitones, it starts to get more dissonant. And it's this weird kind of push and pull. The same thing can be said of video. You need to... You have to know how to do your setup. Now here, they're having a huge smash cut in the background, going from this brick wall to the green screen of the, the blue sky with the clouds. They're having a massive stylistic change in the music, so they're keeping Rob consistent. And because they're not changing what they're wearing from song to song, it means that we've got... Even if it's just, I like big, because we're seeing him now looking like this, and then big. we go here... Sure, he's lost the microphone. Sure, he's gone from hands up here to hands down here. There are obvious changes. It's not like we're trying to make this look like a TikTok transition. It is a cut from one song to the next. But they've set it up. And it's just... I mean, this is this is film school 101 in many ways. Um, <clears throat> but I just, I really like what they've done. I, I'm, I'm talking about it a lot because I think it's really impressive. And I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you can't sprung. 
I, this is great. I love that we've gone back to having instrumental backings. It works because you sure ain't vocally harmonizing a rap. Um, and so that, uh, but I love that they're keeping the comedy in this. Like Rob, there's a bit of comedy in Rob rapping in the first place, but then to have like that, ah, you know, these exp sort of very exaggerated expressions every time we cut to Austin, it's it's keeping that comedy in there, even while the fact that Rob's rapping kind of weirdly both allows a little humor but also disallows other parts of humor they can't use the same tricks to generate humor that they were earlier on in the video because the style of music is different uh, and so they've adjusted it's great i love this <clears throat> i like big butts and i cannot lie you other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face this consist I love that we've got the consistency of Tim dum 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 whatever the I'm not sure what the the rhythm is and exactly where the note changes are but it's just this very consistent line that's going underneath supporting Rob the whole time and it allows the group to have these very punctuated sounds that give it that sense of um being you know the style of accompaniment that you would get because this is this is a fairly bare song in parts originally uh, and they have allowed themselves to play with that a little bit. That's great. You can't run. Wanna pull up tough cause you noticed that pup was stuck. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, back. Okay, I was waiting because there's lots of cool stuff now going on, but Adam is absolutely on fire in this. Like, his, he's... Everything he's doing in the beatbox is so good. Um, like it's really, really tonal to the piece that you're listening to. And now we start adding in the additional noises as well. Like hit this record scratch, the amount, I don't know how easy or hard that is for a beatboxer to do. I have zero concept of beatboxing, uh, beyond appreciating it, but the cleanliness with which he's shifting the pitches that he's scratching at is so impressive. This really caught my ear when we passed. And obviously we're going to stick with this. Uh, sort of instrumental section for a minute here. Um, but I'm just, I'm really, really impressed with everything he's doing in this video. It's one of those things where if you get so, you get it so right that you almost don't notice how good it is because it just fits. Does that make sense? Um, it's like if he was doing a bad job, you'd notice it more almost. Um, except it's so impressive that you can't help but notice it. But you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the cut with the comedy going on behind the principal is great. I would love to know what the director's note was for something. Like, what is this that Chris is doing? I've no idea. Um, I, I would love to know what the director's note was that they were given before they were, maybe this isn't the BTS, uh, before they went up and started doing these sections on the green screen, because it's, the this, this stuff here is gold. <laughs> this, that's really smooth as well. I've talked about it already, and I just jumped to it, but I'm going to go back just before it. That momentary cut <clears throat> to uh, Austin doing the, nah! I'm not even going to try and get that high right now um, in the club setting is fantastic because again it's a this it's a, this one's a little bit more out of the blue um, no pun intended for the colors that we're seeing in the backgrounds uh, but it's it's a little bit more kind of uh, of a smash cut than the others are but the fact that we have that moment where we we cut to Austin we see him doing something that we have seen him do already in the video. Like, wait, this thing, we're just seeing it from a slightly different angle. Um, it sets us up for that shift that's going to come in a moment. Yeah, so right there, we see sort of familiar... We see a familiar thing happening in a new setting, and now when that setting comes up, we are kind of expecting it already. And it's it, this is good because we are going to, I think it doesn't start Cisco until that cut happens, I think. Did I just see that? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, that's just a really nice, um, a really nice moment there. That shift. I love um, that the, the the sort of sailing line that Austin has going over this is fantastic. It just adds an extra texture to it. Um, while we have the focus going on uh, of the actual lyric, um, this is also a very like this is this is stylistically different to anything we've seen so far because we've either been in front of the brick wall on the stairs in front of the green screen and now all of a sudden we've got this very stark uh sort of neon uv thing going on um which is the biggest change that we get in this <laughs> I love that the costumes they've got here are all UV uh, receptive um, or reflective, I guess. Uh, so we are getting a lot. We get this very cool kind of club blue vibe, but there is so much color going on. Uh, it's a this is this is really smart costuming here. <laughs> <laughs> Heart back to the survivor of having everyone. We've got that going on in here. I'm interested. It's interesting. The finger actually passing in front of his mouth is probably having more effect than touching the lips in any way there, because the, fur the further apart the lips are, the less effect. Yeah, it doesn't have as much effect as you spread the mouth wider. Um. But it's, ca it's causing a really cool effect. It might also be because he's so high-pitched, it's interfering with the sound a little bit more there. Because um, there's an obvious interference happening. Uh, it's a really cool effect. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Back on this. I just love that introduction of the harmony there. We've gone from... Like effectively having bassline, uh, melody, and this sort of sailing um, uh, counter melody, if you like, going over the top. Is Chris maybe doubling Rob? It does sound like there are two. And then when we get to let we suddenly come into the harmony there. Yeah, I think Chris is doubling Rob. I'm not 100% sure. It sounds like it f for a second there. Um, and Tim's underneath. Um, but yeah, I really love that shift of we have that coming in with the focus on the melody, and then we break into that lovely harmonic uh, breadth um, that they do so well when they come in on let. <laughs> And that's really nice as well, having that pacey uh, sort of harmonic uh, statement in the background there, um, on, <laughs> on top of the whole finger on the lips thing. Um, but it, it, everything about this, it, we're still in the same tempo, it's keeping everything moving. Like This arrangement is truly fantastic. See that song. And I love that we have that. It just gives us so much to play with in what is, again, a relatively, relatively sparse uh, original song. They fleshed it out more and made it, but you know, like with all of this, they've home freed it up and they've made it something that is theirs to play with. And they're just doing such a good job with that in this. Um, and now we start to, I think we're moving into Country Girl here. Was that the name? Country Country Girl Shake It For Me? Something like that. Uh, the Luke Bryan song. Ah, that's nice. So in the back there, that... Whatever the, the syllables is he's actually singing there, it kind of 
almost carries on from the beatboxing for a second there, and it keeps the pace going with some rhythm, but it changes the style up a little bit and allows us to move into a different style of song. I really like that. I think that's a great little shift. Uh, it allow again, it allows us to come. We're back into a st uh, a stage look that we're familiar with. <clears throat> we're going into a different song with a slightly different style, but there are elements. So, one thing I just want to check. Yeah, there's a very very subtle difference there in the beatboxing. We go from the. It's almost like a. God, I can't do it that quickly, can I? But with the bass drum of the at the beginning of each one, and now it's more of a. It's cut down. We've lost some of the pace in the hi hat sound going on there, which has been picked up by the. Again, whatever that is. Um, but it's nice because we're keeping rhythms going. They're just, it's crossing between instrumentation, for want of a better phrase. Different voices, different styles. Um, but it's enabled, it gives us a little bit more cohesiveness again. <laughs> I love the line dancing lesson that's going on. Not sure who's teaching who at any given moment, but <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> I want to know what Tip was reacting to there. That was great. Or is he just laughing at Chris? Whatever. That was just a really cute reaction. Okay. Uh, just before we go into that last section. I think actually Tim's reaction there kind of uh, feeds into this. I think we have... We have something similar to what we had with Try Everything, where you're getting hints of a rehearsal, you know, um, uh, practice run almost, cut into the visuals of the main thing. And what I love about that is you get full performance mode from everybody, but you also get to see how genuine they're all being. And it's sometimes the face doesn't show it when they're performing because they're creating a certain uh, sort of scene but that cut to things like Tim laughing, maybe at Chris, not sure, um, and just the those moments of entertainment that we're cutting to, where we're seeing them just be goofy, it's so nice because it's it really really brings you more into uh, into the song. It, it's it you know in something that was being that was much more serious, um, it could almost be a, a bit of a fourth wall break, but this isn't. Serious. Serious at all, and so it's fine. It's great that we have those moments of actually being able to have that uh, intimacy with the group. That's really smart. <laughs> and I love this. Is so good. This shot right here is so so good because we have this beautiful color. Like there's so much color on screen right now that it's it, it's the perfect moment to see the group in silhouette because we don't need more than that. The world is yours. All these colors behind them. Uh, it's just, this is just gorgeous. And now we're cutting between the setup of the song originally and this sort of finale section. Uh, and I, it's, I really, that's smart. Got it going on, like Donkey Kong. And oh, he shut my mouth. Thong, 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 thong. There ought to be a log. I love, I love this kind of thing where, and I, I had this with Voctiv when I saw the Disney Princess medley as well. I love it when you take everything you've just sung and reprise it at the end to form a coda that is basically a coda of reprises. Um, Coda, for anyone who doesn't know, is sort of the bit at the end of the song where you've gone into the final stretch, essentially. Um, and I, I, it's so effective, and I love the way that they do it here, too. And it, oh, simple things like you have the unison thong, 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 and then harmony thong. That's really good. Oh, and oh, shut my mouth. Thong, 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 thong. 
Oh, I just realized I, I hope I haven't missed anything. I feel like we haven't heard any crazy deep Tim or did I just somehow miss it? But there's a note there. Listen, as we go into thong, you can hear a really bass note coming out of Tim there. They're all to be along, get the sheriff on the phone. Lord have mercy, how she even them riches And I love that we've gone from like the incredulity in the first time to now it's just like, whoa! It's a great like they're playing with this music so well. They're making it different every time it comes up. Um you know, even if it's just a little bit busier, whatever it happens to be. And I love that we're getting these single shots of them on the stage. Like, there's so much that they're playing with here. From group to uh, single to just the band. Like, the the, the the changes that they're showing and the uh, the different styles of shot that they're showing here all just blend together so well. Lord have mercy, how she even get them riches? That is so good. I love, again, just the fun they're clearly having. That's a great ending, uh, ending splash as well. That's fantastic. Um, again, the band now hidden in they've almost made it about the group it, this the, the video is about everybody who's involved in the video and like even here putting austin close to somebody else who's got a lot of yellow in their shirt all of a sudden he's not standing out as much as he was when i think they put him in front of um a couple of folks wearing sort of silver and black and he stood out more that everyone is even with him being you know the most colorful of the group everyone's now blending in more and it's all about this ensemble uh, and I love that they've ended this video like that because the vocal is about the band, but the video was about a whole group of people coming together. And it's just, it's a really nice touch. Um, lovely framing with the world is yours up at the top there as well. This is a really, really well done video. I am super, super impressed with what they did with this. And it's just so much fun, right? Like this is this just makes you smile. I I I love that. Uh, they did a really really good job on this one. Um, I need to go and listen to Country Girl just because I want the completion of knowing what all of these songs are like. But I love how they treated the five other songs as well. Um, like they did a really really good job on this. Uh, and that's just it's so enjoyable. It's it makes you smile. It's got that great sense of just levity to it. Uh, you can't help but enjoy this. It's it's really, really well put together. Um, thank you to those who recommended this one to me. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. It wasn't this. I was expecting it to be a lot of fun and very professional. And I got both of those things, uh, of course. But I, I had no idea what was coming my way. And that was fantastic. Um, yeah, very, very well done. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, <clears throat> do we have... Just because I didn't do this earlier... Do we have much away? Yes, we do have some... Okay, so directed, filmed, edited, and developed by 5th Gen. So there is The Hound and the Fox once again. Um, uh, Co-produced by Luke Pierce and Katie Kaniewski for Works Entertainment. Arranged by... Oh! Arranged by Chris Rupp, Lane Stein, and Adam Rupp. So Lane helped out on this one. Uh, that's very cool. Um, on-site audio and lighting by Alan Strand, S1K Audio, makeup and design hair by Elena Lysenko. Very good job for the makeup and hair design. Um, ah! I had forgotten somebody told me that Bugs was going to be in this. So that is... Um, so... Uh, ah, where's my mouse gone? Um... So yes, I was told this and I had forgotten it. So uh, this here, the in the overalls, because uh, he's being thanked for his overalls work, is Eric Bugler, um, known as Bugs, who I have only been aware of up to this point through um, the Avid Endorsement podcast, which I've been listening to. Uh, it's a, a movies uh, podcast with... Um, 
uh, Bugs and Rob. And I've been listening to that a bunch. Specifically, I've been listening to their Marvel stuff because I'm a huge Marvel nut. But I, I had forgotten. Somebody did tell me at one point that um, uh, uh, Bugs was going to be in this, I think. And I didn't actually write that down when I wrote down the recommendations. Uh, so I had forgotten that. Uh, thank you to whoever it was who had told me that. Um but yes, it had slipped my mind. Uh, but that is great. Uh, the Avid Endorsement, I highly recommend. I'm just going to mention it since Bugs is there. Um, and that is, you can find them at the theavidindoorsmen.com uh, or just listen to them on wherever you're, I think they do they do videos as well, but I just listen to them on podcasts. Um, and there's, they, they do some great video analysis and things like that. And I have really enjoyed what I've heard of the podcast so far. Um, yeah. That, I think, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, please do like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, if you want to know when my videos come out. And if you would care to, please feel free to head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash David K Reacts to support the channel if you would like to. Um, and yeah, lots more coming, of course. I, uh, I'm going to do a video at some point in the not-too-distant future when I can finish organizing it uh, and just show everyone what my list is because it's astronomical. Uh, please keep the recommendations coming, though. I really appreciate it. Uh, there's lots more for me to cover. Um, somebody else coming next week. I haven't decided who yet because I only had Disney Month planned out. Uh, but thank you for joining me on this video. I hope that you have a lovely evening, morning, afternoon, tea time, whatever time it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Uh, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.